now on UK Reality Gold, it's time for another celebrity to find out who does he think he is. This time on Who Does He Think He Is, reality star Marcus Chapsmore uncovers a legacy. Despite my success, my wealth, my natural good looks, and my um, obvious privileges, I've always felt that there's been something missing from the jigsaw puzzle of me. And I feel that to do justice to the fans, the, uh, the chaps, I need to go on this journey into myself to look out. Having traced my family tree, I've tragically discovered that a number of my ancestors are dead. Which is how my agent tells me, I've inherited this legacy, this house, and this 50-acre estate, which is cool. In the constructed reality docudrama series, The Only Way is to be Made of Money, Marcus Chapsmore is best known as a hapless lad about town. Oh, champagne, special occasion. Well, you know, when in Rome. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Well, babe, you know, um, these last couple of months, they've, uh, they've been fun, right? Yeah, loads of fun. I've had a great time with you. Uh, Marcus, what's going on right now? Are you breaking up with me over champagne? Well, you know, I mean, you, me, we've got a lot going on in our lives now, babe. And uh, I think that we just need to take a bit of time to, uh, to concentrate on that. Marcus, you're literally breaking up with me right now. Babe, don't see it like that. See it as two weary travellers whose roads have forked. And I just need to fork off for a bit. I'm sorry, is this some kind of joke? Look, it's not you, okay? It's me. It's just that, um, before I can love you, I just, I've got to love me. Yeah, well, I think you'd love yourself enough. I, uh, I always knew I would find greatness. But, I never expected to have greatness thrust upon me and to inherit it. My great 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 grandfather, Xavier Chapsmore, was literally a literary genius. Now, in my younger and more vulnerable years, I never actually read the works of Xavier Chapsmore. But now, I feel I can appreciate them for the multi-layered, multi-narrative pieces of genius that they are, akin to the works of other such writers of the classics, like J.K. Rowling, Dan Brown, Patricia Twinebeck is an MA student and Xavier Chapsmore expert who has dedicated her life and studies to the magical world Chapsmore's children's novels created. In a sense, Xavier Chapsmore's work is a treasure of English literature. Some may say, in a sense, that it's even more significant than the parables. In a sense, Xavier Chapsmore's work sought inspiration from the enchanted forest. In a sense, provides escapism from the bleak, quotidian reality 
of the Great War. Felicity and the Fairies, in a sense, captures the true magic of the work of Xavier Chapsmall. In a sense, preserving his legacy for all time. In perpetuity. Forever. The British-made film Felicity and the Fairies was released in cinemas in 1937 by Tate Richard Studios as a direct rival to Walt Disney's animated Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I mean, listen, the thing is, Black and white films are cool. I mean, I, I loved Sin City. Whilst Disney's much-loved dwarfs went on to win seven little Oscars, Xavier Chapsmore's fairies failed to cast a spell on audiences. Chapsmore's novels and the film's cast were soon forgotten. In this episode of Who Does He Think He Is, we follow Marcus Chapsmore's journey as he uncovers the dark secrets of the legacy he has inherited. But will his great-great-great-grandfather's fairy spell cast its magic across the generations? Cut! Ah! Syria! Oh, Adrian, mate. I'm so, so, so sorry. Look, we'll get it one more time. That was my bad. I won't do it again, and Trish. Don't touch me. Okay, uh, okay this, this is ridiculous. We've had to get about four shots of you walking down the path because you keep stumbling. Look, guys, it's gonna be fine. Just don't worry, we'll set up, we'll do it again. And Jaina, this one's for you. Right. Adrian, I can't work with him. Don't make no. me do another take. Absolutely not. Trish, Trishy wishy woo. Here, chill. Marcus, I hope that's coconut water. Yeah, coconut water and a bit of my mate, Jackie Daniels, eh? Hey, hey, am I right? He knows. <laughs> he knows. Okay, that's a wrap for today. No, Adrian, we've got Yeah, 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 I know, yeah, yeah, Gina, I know, I know, okay. So we're just gonna wait until morning for Mr. Chatsmore to sober up. I'm going to go back to my hotel room and have a bubble bath. You guys pack up, you know the drill. Um, no, yeah. Adrian, where, yeah. where are we Gina, going? Gina, Gina. Um, Chill, darling, I've got it sorted out. There's like a lush little barn I found on the estate. It's kitted out for you. I'm going to worry about a thing. It'll be sweet. Right. Whew. That's the stuff. Oh, uh, chaps, you forgot this mic. Um, uh, uh, oh, hey, babe. Uh, I didn't see you there. You are a grotesquely vile human being. I know you want me. This is a joke. What a dickhead. I can't believe we have to sleep in this barn. I mean, have you seen his house? It must have like 15 empty rooms. This is worse than when we had to film Scott from Love Island. There is no way that we'll get this done by tomorrow. Why are we making a documentary about fairies? Excuse me? You don't have to be here. That goes for all of you. You don't even care. You don't even care about this place. You don't even care about fairies. You're just as bad as Marcus. Have you even read the book? I thought so. I'm going to bed now. Hashtag chaps more chaps.
Tweet. What is it? Marcus is totally going on a twit ramp in the woods. What's a twit ramp? It's a rampage, but on Twitter. I think I found myself in these woods. Hashtag chaps more chaps. <laughs> if you haven't got bevved in the woods, have you ever really got bevved? Hashtag bevved. <laughs> Off for rebels in my hashtag woods. Hashtag chaps more chaps. Hashtag 50 acre estate. <laughs> this is internet gold. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? We've got to film this. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Yes, I'm sure. We can't miss this opportunity. We've got to expose him. Look, sup, hashtag chaps more chaps. Check out my periscope and be bevving in the forest. Hashtag live right now. Hey, this one goes out to the chaps. Yeah, I'm just periscoping here in the woods. You, uh, you caught me bevving, having a bit of a beverage. Filming the other uh, dock about me. The dock, dock is a... Uh, documentary for those of you who aren't in the industry um, yeah it's a bit of a rags to riches type story um, <laughs> well you know not rags but, uh, hang on a minute chaps I think someone's trespassing um, oi oi I can see you! Alright chaps, I'm going in. Hey, old man! Oi! Hobo! No fires or barbecues in these woods. This is chaps more property. Hello, Marcus. My name is Xavier Chapsmore. Lord! Of it. This is the weirdest Z-list celebrity I've ever had to film. Do you reckon we should help him or something? Help him? Are you kidding me? This is reality TV gold. Gina, this isn't right. Shut this up. is. And point the camera. Do it. No! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ow! Stop! No! 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 I am your great-great-grandfather, Xavier Chapsmore. 
And I have a secret to tell you. <laughs> a secret that has been in our family for over a hundred years. A secret that I shall now pass on to you. The books, stories, fairies. It's all real. This is impossible! You're wrong, my boy! Anything is possible in this wood! But... There's no such thing as fairies. <laughs> Why don't you tell them that?! So... So... You're my great-great-great-grandfather. You live in my woods. Fairies are real. Okay. Um, so why has no one ever seen you? We choose who can see us. And when? Only at night! <laughs> I have to film this. No, Marcus! No one must know us. This is your secret to keep. No one must know! Protect my legacy. Protect our way of life. Yes, Grandfather. Good boy. <laughs> Georgina! Oh, uh, Marcus. Hi. Hey, um, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. What are you doing here? What are you doing out here? Oh, actually, it was funny. We um, running? No, uh, walking down. Were you just filming? Uh, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Were you just filming? No. Did you see what just happened? Right. Okay. Marcus Chapsmore, what on earth are you doing in these woods at this ungodly hour? You shouldn't be here. Why? Read the book, Marcus! Read the book! Well, what are you doing out here? In a sense, I have to look after these guys. Don't, don't I? Well, it's bedtime. Oh, my apologies. It was my flashlight. What are you doing here? Shh. I don't believe it. Wait. Uh. Marcus Chapsmore! You are such a disagreeable little louse! Oh, Gina, uh, make this work. What the hell are you doing with my camera? Gina. 
I know you filmed me earlier. Okay, yes. Yes, I did. Okay, I'm sorry. I promise I won't use the footage. Are you kidding me? This is fantastic. So, so you saw them? Uh, saw who? The fairies. Uh, what? Imagine it! Fairyland! No, no, no. Fairy world. No, 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 no. Chapsmore's fairies. Marcus. What? You promised you would keep our secret. What? Xavier has something to say. One of them. One of what? Fairies. You have betrayed us, Marcus. How could you? Who the hell are you? Grandfather, I was literally just... Enough! You're clearly not worthy of the Chapsmore legacy. You have proved yourself to be a dishonest, disingenuous, disgraceful chap. Grandfather, I imagine the money we'd make. I'd be a millionaire. A billionaire. No. Marcus. This is important. This is literally epic. Small legacy ends here. Anyone who betrays us pays the price. Oh, Charlotte, babe. You should have been there. I mean, the woods, my grandfather, the fairies. Yeah, fairies. You know, fairies. Except now, now that they're, they're gone. No, 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 babe, babe. It's, it's like I told you. I, I wasn't breaking up with you. I just needed to fork. And I've, I've done a lot of forking in the last 24 hours. And it, it made me think. I mean... What is a Chapsmore? Is one born a chap? Or does one have chap thrust upon them? I, I, I've got to go, babe. Um, I, I'll call you later. Here's to you, Xavier. Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. Adrian, Adrian, you should have been there. I know Mark was rolling around, kicking and screaming about fairies, but into thin air. I know, he's officially gone cray. No, cray. It's like crazy. Look, no one's got enough time to say crazy. Okay, okay. Don't go crazy, but um, your camera may have disintegrated into fairy dust by actual fairies. No, no, no. Who did you take me for? Of course I've got a copy. Look, I'm going to post it now. I'll tag you in it. Thank me later. Anyone who betrays us pays the price.